We're at Ellicott Creek Park, which is, uh, runs over the Tonawanda Creek, which runs into, which is part of the New York State Canal System. Uh, we have an infestation of water chestnut, which is an aquatic invasive plant that was brought to the United States in the late 1800s and has been discovered in various locations throughout the Northeast. This is the only population of water chestnut that we know of for about 100 miles. So if we were to go 100 miles to the east of here, that's about where we're going to start seeing consistent populations of it. So it sort of took us by surprise that it, it popped up this far away. We first identified it in 2008, June of 2008. We were doing a fishery survey and during the spring survey we found a, a very small plant um, just around the corner from this location and when we came out subsequent to that we found you know fairly large colonies but they weren't entirely covering the, the canal like they are today. This year we've gone out once a week since about June and we've pulled close to 500 isolated single rosettes um, from, the, from the creek. Sometime in probably early to late August, sometime in the month of August we think this mature plant will develop these seeds on the underside and it'll, it'll drop them. Um, they'll, they'll be, at that point they'll be kind of green and fleshy. They'll fall to the bottom and over winter and then the following maybe June or so, they'll start sprouting and this is what results from it, a big long plant like this and there'll be offshoots of, a, of additional rosettes coming up. And then this will be the spent seed pod that remained. We've estimated that at full bloom there's potentially uh, 200 metric tons of material that is here just within the six acres and if you, if you do a quick search on, online you can convert 200 metric tons um, it comes out to be the weight of a 767, uh, Boeing 767 airliner. So it's quite a lot of plant material that needs to be disposed of somewhere. Our biggest concern at this point is it getting into the Niagara River, which is only about three miles from here. And we have seen one or two plants within about 100 yards from the river where the, the canal meets the Niagara River in Tonawanda. So that's why we're going out at least once or twice a week um, to try to pull those plants before they drop their seeds in another couple of, maybe a month or so. Uh, we've been working very closely with Erie County Parks um, and, and the County of Erie, they've been very supportive, uh, helping us to provide you know, various logistical support um, and, and just allowing us to, to get in here and access this so easily. Uh, we'll be assisting in the eradication by having the trucks here and staff here to once the harvested material is on the back of the harvester, uh, they'll bring it up uh, up the slope uh, on a conveyor to our trucks and we will take it to a transfer station or a landfill uh, that knows exactly what to do with this. For this year we've contracted with a mechanical harvesting company that is going to come in with a harvester and, and harvest all six acres of it this year and we're hoping to continue that for the next three to four years uh, at least to to get rid of the, the, the quantity of seeds and the, basically the seed bank that would cause the population to continue. We've also partnered with the Buffalo Niagara Riverkeeper, a local organization that's going to be providing over 50 volunteers to come in once the harvesting is complete and they're going to hand pull the remaining plants that remain in the creek. So native in here is uh, the Valsinaria or the eelgrass sometimes called. Uh, there's some white water lilies, there's some coontail, and once our eradication is all done, maybe five, six years from now, we're hoping, uh, what we plan to do, we'll, we'll probably be working with some partners to put, replant some of the native vegetation that may have either been um, displaced because of the water chestnut or may have been removed by the harvester. So we'll go through and replant some of that behind the island and try to bring it back to uh, its original state.